did you eat before early morning training session? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hi guys, this is Sit Down Saturday. I'm here with Dara Green, an international Irish swimmer and a pre-validated Olympian. And yeah, let's get into this. All right, lads. Thanks for having me. So we have Dara and Lane 8 in the World Long Course uh, Championships in the prelims. In Le uh, and this is in Guangzhou in Korea. All right, so we'll start off here. Um, So, did you like, were you nervous here or are you just ready to get in and do this 50? Um, yeah, I was pretty, pretty pumped up for this one because this was my second swim. Okay. Um, so, my 100 was my first swim, so that was kind of a different first time swimming there. The 50 here, yeah, I was pretty pumped up for it. Was it loud in the arena? Yeah, it was very loud, to be fair. Uh, louder, a lot louder at night. Yeah. Here we go. So, uh, we're in. We shout you a pretty good start compared to everybody else in the race. Yeah, I think that was the best start I've ever had, pretty much up to. And yeah. um, it was kind so, of nuts that everything went right, like first. That's good. Uh, see for your fifty, like, were you like a higher rate? Obviously, for your stroke, in a, like, it would have been much higher than in 100. Yeah, a lot higher. If you was, I think, close enough to 60 stroke rate, probably. Would you have like a preferred skip, like, you know, a like training suit or, or not training, competition suit or skim, whatever you call it? Would you just be all arena or would you wear different ones? Um, I have been trying out new ones, trying to, uh, tried a few arenas to Mizuno's. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just trying to get what you're most comfortable with, really. Yeah. So here we are. You've got you've a very high shoot I don't know if I could do that breast shoot, but uh, <laughs> I think my favourite part I have of the Irish kit, like for like going away, is definitely the black cap. And now yeah, it definitely is a nice. I know nice. you like you are with everyone here. I know you went a um, twenty six nine. That, that's your best. Is that, that's your best so far, yeah? You've ever yeah, got. that's so far. It's first time sub 27. Fast, rea fast reaction time as well, and 0 0.65. So Great. It was, yeah, very good, very fast start for a 50. Yeah, I think I finished four, fourth in this heat, and I think it was eight overall. Yeah, would you say that was a good finish? Yeah, did you see it? Was um, yeah, it was pretty much hit the wall straight on, so that's good. That's Seems to be a pretty perfect racer. Yeah, it really was, to be fair. Um, like, even from my start, it was the best start. And I didn't even... It was the one thing I was trying to work on. It was not to rush my underwater phase. So, yeah. um, the show there, I came up with everyone in line. So then, you know, falling behind. And you come straight right. up to it. Um, so, you obviously went into the, the semi-final after that then. Yeah. I did, yeah. Um, and yeah. um, it definitely was, it was point two point yeah, point two slower, but yeah. I, that was definitely from my start, I think. It's really with the 50, if you don't get the start right, it's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, it's exit, it's exit the rest of the race. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we're going to watch Dara's second race. We are, this is the first time we're doing two races, because we fall, you know, it's only a 50, so it's quite not a lot big le length of time. So we better give Dara the, the chance to get longer episode. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Dara's in lane eight again here. He's at the top of the screen. And, um, yeah, so you said this in the last uh, race watch. This is your first race that you did here. And um, obviously, yep. uh, is this your first World Champs? This is my first long course, yeah. This is my first long course. All right. Yeah, would you say? Would you say when you travel, because obviously Korea is quite far. Would you say that kind of affected you, like it before, because you probably are at jet lag or something like that? Would you say that affects you for swimming or not really? Uh, jet lag. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
it is a huge thing, uh, but we were lucky enough to be able to travel over three weeks before. Uh-huh. Uh, we went to Hamamatsu, the, like the, it was supposed to be the Olympic holding camp for the Irish swim team. We got to kind of acclimatize there and see mm-hmm. how it is. And then we all flew into South Korea then, which was, which was handy. Was so it really, warm? In, was it warm in South Korea? Yeah, it was very, it was really humid. So, it was, okay. so is there many, was, it, was this the last heat of the, in the world? Uh, um, I think it was, it was. One of them anyway. Uh, it was one of the seeded heats anyways, whether it's the third last or second last. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. I think it was the second last because Shemankovic is in this and he went, he was down for a 58-1 or something. 58-2. Okay. Right. So we'll see the dive here. You actually, you are point, uh, zero 0.03 um, faster reaction time than your 50. So. Oh. And that's, that's so we'll see. Yeah. Basically, with the field, yeah, Stroker is a bit lower as well. Here, you can't see that. Obviously, it's a big factor in going up distance is to lower the stroke rate. Uh, on your breakout, uh, so you kick and then pull, where some people like do it at the same time, uh, yeah. Would you say what you plan? Well, obviously you plan to do it, but uh, have you ever tried the other way, or do you just, uh, or is it just kind of like how you feel on the day, or do you just pick that way always? Um, funny you say that because I've actually changed from kick and pull to kick and pull together now. I've tried okay. to work on that a bit more because it, it's just what works best for you, and yeah. so you're just trying to constantly get that feeling of, um, well, as the coach says, if you, if you feel like you're slowing down in any phase of your underwater, or if you feel like you're speeding up in any phase, it means you've already slowed down in the phase before it, so you kind of have to try and keep it all together. Okay. Play the You're skating on everybody else here, I'd say, but on the camera, anyway. we'll You're very strong, like, push through it you know when you're like when you have, I can see because you can see all the water like splashing out <laughs> so you're very powerful on your breaststroke right. uh, yeah all right uh, pull breaststroke pull so yeah. <laughs> pretty fast yeah Dara Green the perfect swimmer that's <laughs> <one>. <laughs> was that a good turn would you say that was a good turn yeah uh, the reaction or the speed around the wall was good, but I uh, definitely thought my underwater phase was very quick and yeah. just came straight up kind of way. So, obviously, uh, so, yeah. Do you have like a set amount of strokes you have to take each lamp before you go? Uh, in and around kind of way. It gives you an idea what to hit, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, you went out on a 27.95. Uh, would that be like a pretty decent split or would there be like... Too fast, too slow. What do you think? Um, I, it was. I think it was more the second fifty that saved us, as in, kind of, okay. it was a bit too slow. You'd want a kind of twenty-seven mid, low. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You've got around about the same. Like you all seem to like. I know the guy on the inside seems to be. He said, "Well, he looks like he's tying a lot," but you seem to be getting on quite a bit here. So. Yeah, do touch him out at the end. Yeah. Your stroke looks pretty, like, it looks pretty, like, in the straight line as well. It doesn't yeah. like you're slowing down anywhere either, which is good. Would you, so you obviously you had a great finish there because you touched out the guy on the inside here. Um, so um, that brought you to a 59.82 and an Olympic pre-validation time. Um, so when you finished the wall, you obviously turn, did you turn around and look at the thing? Oh, actually, I have to probably check up. Yeah. Um, so well, I think he just knew that he did it. <laughs> so, like, did you did you think when you saw the time? Did you think? Did you know? Sorry, that you broke. You got under the FINA A time. Uh, I knew the FINA. See, my personal best before that was fifty nine ninety two, yeah. and that was point zero one under the FINA A time. So all I knew, I, I just had to do a PB or under it, or like yeah. better. 
But um, yeah, I definitely, it was kind of bittersweet at the time because yes, I got to FINA time, but in the moment itself, I was, was placed 17. So I just missed out on semi final, which is at the same time, that's what, that was the main yeah. uh, reason why we were there was to pre validate ourselves for the Olympic Games. So. Yeah, I think I remember when I was watching this race because I actually watched it live. I think we were at a competition around now anyway. And I think I remember that you were the only person ever to miss out a semi final and go sub 60. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> but it's close as well. It's like tenths of a second. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. All right, then. So we all go on to the questions. Just kind of rubbed it in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Right, so we get on to the questions then. All right. Okay, so uh, you basically told us what you thought of your race. So what would you change in your race to make it better or if you change anything at all? Um, probably be more... If I had my 50 start, I think it would have been a lot easier going out. And yeah, yeah my underwater phase on my turn. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so obviously you, we said that you pre-validated your Olympic spot for 2020. Um, are you annoyed or like, are you okay with having to wait another year? And also actually, do you have to pre it does, are you still pre validate for the Olympics? Uh, yeah, so it carries over to the following year. Okay, so are you annoyed that you have to wait another year or just, is that grand because you, you can still improve and get way faster? Yeah, exactly. That's um, it, At the time, obviously, it was a bit annoying, but at the same time, when you look at it, the whole world is in the same boat and it's only just an opportunity to get better. Yeah. Okay, so you're back training now. I think you've been back for, is this the fourth week? it is and um uh what's it like being back yeah is it great yeah yeah it's, it actually is great to get back to some sort of normality like it was probably the longest we've all ever been out of the water for or the yeah. pool for that long like so yeah it's good to be back and um, what's your favorite competition you've been to um favorite competition i've ever been to will be probably this set of in rome all right, this is the fire round now, so try try your best to answer them. So, first one is, what do you prefer, cats or dogs? Uh, dogs. Okay. Uh, favorite food? Uh, pizza. Uh, favorite sport, but not swimming? Like to watch? Or, well, you can say if you want to play or whatever, you just say what, which one. Um, say favorite sport to watch, probably in between football and hurling. Okay. What would you say to play if they're not swimming? Football? Um, uh, started getting into a bit of golf, as we all know. <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody <laughs> is. <laughs> uh, and then, so the most famous person you've met? Famous person I've ever met would probably be... Good question. Um... All I could think is probably Ryan Giggs, maybe. You know Ryan Giggs? Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice player. Okay, favourite training partner, if you have one? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, it depends what we're doing. <laughs> really. How about we say freestyle, like lactate one? <laughs> uh, well, it definitely wouldn't be... Daniel or any of them. Cause <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He'll probably be back himself for them okay. okay, so uh, it's a very controversial question because uh, some people like to lie, but Max <laughs> Bench? Uh, I've got to 105 kilos. Big chest then? Like Big chest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is describe yourself in one word. Um, let's say sound, maybe. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay, and then what would you eat before early morning training session? Oh, early morning training session. So definitely have uh, a coffee, a banana, and a few protein bars, maybe, or. Granola bears, would you be the same? 
Uh, uh, I don't really tend to eat that much, but I have like I'll probably have like a, a cereal bar and like I don't know some like kind of fruit yogurt thing. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I just have a drink and a <laughs> cereal bar. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, thanks, Dara, for coming on the show. And um, please comment if who else you'd like to know and comment um, anything you'd like to know about Dara and we'll try to get back to you. And like and subscribe. And yeah, that's the episode. Uh, would you like to shout anybody out or yourself? Uh, shout myself out, yeah. Um, yeah, you can follow us on any social media. Um, yeah, thanks for having me, lads. Right, it'll be in the description so give them a follow <laughs> thanks and see you next week for another episode bye then